Hello there dear YouTube friends. In this video, I will teach you guys on how to create a responsive image slider in HTML. And we're gonna use Sleek.js as one of our framework, which is already a pre-built uh, framework that we're gonna use, and which is free as well. You can actually just go to their website and get their uh, documentation on how to implement it. So that is the, this, whole, this whole video is gonna be about. So let's get started. So let's, I'm gonna use in this particular video, I'm going to use a simple code pen and code editor here just to show you how easily it can be edited. And as well as the example of how will it look like the, uh, the slider. As you can see here, this is an example of a slider. As you can see, I can just literally just like drag and like drag it to your left or drag it to your right. And it is in on auto play, by the way. You can actually just let it play throughout the each and every slides. And you can actually just manipulate this particular uh, change this particular slides according to left button or the right button here actually it is here by the way and also it is here so this is the whole video is going to be about so let's get started okay so first of all let's go to uh, a code pen web editor sorry uh, code editor so we're going to have uh, of course we're going to have html css and javascript so this is going to be where we're going to uh, fill up the code here so the next thing we'll be using is this particular uh, documentation that I have created here in this on your left hand side. This is the document. This is just a simple blog documentation that I created just for us to refer to. And we can always like refer to this particular blog. We can yeah for every time every single time that we would like to have it. And also let's get started. So first of all, of course the head. So HTML head will be the first thing to to implement. Let's get let's go to the uh, this particular uh, HTML code here. So let's type the, uh, the HTML boilerplate, which is the HTML. Okay, this is a simple uh, boilerplate that we always should start with. And, and of course, the next will be head. Sorry. Okay. So inside the head, we're going to have the this particular uh, like reference style sheet reference so this is going to be coming from uh, slick.js's uh, uh, fold i mean their documentation which is weak that is which is what i have copied from their website so this tool will be the one that we're going to use it we're going to copy it and going to paste it inside our uh, code pen here As you can see here it's going to copy whatever i copied here just going to paste it right in in between the head here okay so once you have copied done with that and let's go to the next part which is the style sheet. So style will be just, I will be teaching you guys on how, where does this particular style sheet will be able to, uh, will be utilized. So I'm just gonna, for now I'm just gonna copy the style here. And this is just a simple uh, style, uh, styling uh, code, just for uh, for containers. So yes, basic containers will do, to center things up. So I'm just gonna copy this, sorry, copy this entire thing. I'm gonna paste it inside CSS here. So, once done with that, let's go to the following. Uh, yep, that's the next. I mean, after the head, it's going to be a body. So it's going to create another uh, another uh, tag for body. Okay. So in, in, inside that body, we have, this is what we're going to place the, the, the main code here. As you can see here, this is the main code. Which in this main code contains just two simple, uh, uh, just two simple uh, uh, banners here. So the banner is going to be something looks like this. Let me just uh, make it make the size to be a bit more okay. So you can see here, this is just a simple. Just two banners are actually aligned vertically, and that is that is all I did for now without even adding any of the slick JSS uh, uh, functions. So just just two uh, banners here, and then. You can see the code here. Even this, it just says two, uh, two, just just two banners here. So this is this is where we're gonna uh, we'll be press. I've been mean, taking it from. So I'm just gonna just go back and let's go to the following screen. And this is where we're gonna give the 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 entire banners to actually give access to uh, Slick JS's uh, uh, plugin, which is what we're gonna make them to do. So in this script files, all the script files are actually uh, will will be the one that makes this particular uh, banners to be able to move and actually to uh, to arrange themselves in a in a in a way in a method where we, it is called a, a carousel 
or a, or you can say a slider as well. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So in this case, just gonna copy this entire script uh, code and I'm gonna paste it inside the HTML tag here. Yeah, and make sure you are, you have you copied in between. Uh, I mean, sorry, you have copied right after your body uh, body stack here, which is here. I'm just gonna copy here. And actually, we are done with that, and that is all. Okay. As you can see here, once we have done the whole code, we just copy, we just copy and paste the entire code from this particular block, and and you have already have a, a working uh, slider here. So this is just something which is really simple, as I told earlier in this video. So as you can see here, this is just a simple, simplest, most simplest way of having uh, a banner to your website. And let's say if you like to add more customization, let's say you would like to add uh, more of a uh, like you have to change the color of this uh, this particular. Wait, let me just change this. Yeah, it's gonna just gonna change the. It's gonna add body, and it's gonna give the background to be gray. So gray is so that I can actually have a difference between. Uh, so sorry. Okay, that's what I will do. So let it load first. So as you can, sorry, I should give even more, right? Mm, I think that's. Okay, that would do, I guess. Okay, as you can see here, there's two uh, buttons here. So you can actually change the color of this button from white to another color that you would like to have uh, changed to. And in order to do that, you can actually go to their website. And don't worry, I'll be giving you all this, uh, all this blog, all this code, all this uh, links to all of the things below the video in the description. So make sure you're able to reach out to all of this. Or in case you are not, you're not able to do any of this, then you can just leave a comment on how do I, how do you guys able to, how you guys be able to get my help. And yeah, just make sure you're able to just uh, just go to this website and just learn uh, more customizations by yourself. Like it'll be more more uh, interesting and more. Uh, yeah, it's like the, the the I mean the limitation is like almost like uh, like almost too endless. So you can always explore by yourself. So I think that's all for me, I guess. And thank you guys for watching this entire video. This is just a simple it's a simple video because we are just gonna use we're just using uh, a pre-built uh, slider and which is free to use and everything's always there in the internet so yeah i think that's all for me i'm just here to just just show you how is it possible to make it uh, okay so let's uh, catch up in our next video until then peace